What's up guys, I'm Jeff Montgomery and welcome to Tax Planning on the Whiteboard. If you like what you hear, make sure you hit subscribe. Well, 2024 is officially upon us and with the new year comes a bunch of new Roth related provisions established by the SECURE Act way back in 2022 and that is the SECURE Act 2.0. And that's going to be our subject on today's Tax Planning on the Whiteboard. With the new year came some new retirement savings rules thanks to the SECURE Act 2.0 which was enacted on December 29th of 2022. Let's start with 529 to Roth IRA rollovers. The SECURE Act 2.0 includes a provision that allows for tax-free rollovers of up to 35,000 of unused 529 funds to a Roth IRA in the name of the 529 beneficiary if the funds aren't going to be used for education purposes. This can be a valuable tool for boosting retirement savings, but there are some important restrictions to be aware of. For example, the 529 plan must have been open for more than 15 years and the rollover amount cannot include any contributions made and earnings on those contributions in the preceding five years. The rollover amount is subject to an annual Roth IRA contribution rules and limits. So it may take several years to do the full $35,000 rollover. Number three, the Roth IRA must be in the name of the 529 beneficiary, not the 529 owner. Very important. Number four, any 529 to Roth IRA rollovers would count towards the IRA contribution limit in effect for that year. So for example, if a beneficiary does a $5,000 rollover from a 529 plan in 2024, they can only make an additional $2,000 IRA or Roth IRA contribution for that same year. And furthermore, a 529 beneficiary doing a rollover must have compensation in the year that the rollover is taking place, at least equal to the amount being rolled over. So you must be working and have compensation in order to fund an IRA or a Roth IRA. So the same provision applies to the 529 to Roth IRA rollover. You must have compensation. This last one is a potential tax gotcha. So keep an eye out for that one. Also, beginning in 2024, there are no RMDs on Roth 401k funds. Some of you may be scratching your head on this one and you may be saying, but Jeff, there are no RMDs on Roths. Well, this was not the case for Roth 401ks, only Roth IRAs. Before 2024, one of the big advantages of a Roth IRA over a Roth 401k was that the Roth IRA owners never had to take RMDs. But strangely, Roth 401k owners that did not roll over to a Roth IRA, because you were always allowed to do that, typically after 59 and a half, but they were subject to RMDs. Well, the SECURE Act 2.0 did away with this distinction and now exempts Roth 401k funds from lifetime RMDs. But be aware, there is another tax gotcha to keep in mind. Inherited Roth 401ks are still subject to RMDs. So even with this new provision, rolling over your Roth 401k to a Roth IRA may still make sense based on this distribution rule alone. Why? Why does that make sense? Because Roth IRAs that are inherited by a non-spouse beneficiary, and let's assume that beneficiary does not qualify for one of the exemptions you know, to the stretch IRA rules, they can leave that Roth IRA, IRA alone for 10 years of tax-free growth without being required to take RMDs. What a fantastic estate planning strategy for those that inherit Roth IRAs. And of course, spousal inherited Roth IRAs, 
can be treated as the inherited spouse's own Roth IRA and no RMDs will be required in their lifetime. Again, great estate planning tool for non-spouse beneficiaries. Finally, one of the really strange rules from the SECURE Act 2.0 pertains to Roth 401k employer-sponsored plans and the catch-up provision for those over the age of 50. Typically, if you're over the age of 50, you are allowed to put more into your Roth 401k or your traditional 401k. So for example, in 2024, that amount is an additional $7,500 over and above the normal contribution limit. So for 2024, that would be $30,500 if you're over the age of 50. This rule targets highly compensated employees over the age of 50. What's considered a highly compensated employee? Employees who earn more than $145,000 per year. This provision requires that that catch-up contribution be placed in the Roth 401k account and not the traditional 401k account. This was originally supposed to go into effect January 1st of 2024, but guess what? Plan administrators, record keepers, lobbying groups have pushed the IRS to delay the effective date of this rule until 2026. So it is officially delayed until 2026 regarding this catch-up contribution provision. And depending on the upcoming election and potential legislation before the Trump tax cuts expire in 2025, I think this new provision is ripe for changes, in my opinion. I think they may do something a little bit differently regarding that. So that's it guys for this episode of Tax Planning on the Whiteboard. Again, if you enjoy these videos, uh, please hit subscribe. And that's it. And my name is Jeff Montgomery and we'll see you next time on Tax Planning on the Whiteboard.